I'm standing up here today because I'm a supporter of the police chief that was, in my opinion, maybe wrongfully terminated. The same guy that sat on this end over here for months as the interim city manager or acting city manager, whatever title you all gave him. How did he fall from grace? So far from grace. I'd just like to see a show of hands of the supporters that are here for Chief Adcock today. I think, I think you can see, I think you can see from the cross-section of our community, in light of law enforcement and what we're going through, the climate that we're going through today, when you have folks from the minority community, from all parts, all segments of our community here in Bastrop come up here to speak on uh, behalf of Chief Adcock. Lastly, I'd just like to uh, thank Chief Adcock for your service. I know your officers love you. It's been a great honor to serve under your leadership. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tan. I remember when there was an uneasy, an, an uneasiness in Bastrop when Rodney Reed was days away from being executed. It was Chief Adcock that was out in front reaching out to the community through town meetings, trying to build the bridge of communication, being proactive, and we should not become complacent. Just like unrest happens in the big cities, it can happen in small town Bastrop. For 13 years, I've been fighting crime in this town. I did not have an effective partner during the last several years of David Board's reign. Chief Adcock came in and changed the entire direction of the department, the entire morale of the department. All of a sudden, I see police officers on my street four or five times a day, whereas before, I had seen none. I have nothing but anger. Google Steve Adcock. He's heralded on the Internet. Google Miss Humble, you know what you find. You've seen it on Facebook. Citizens deserve to know, and I apologize for that, Miss Humble, but it's the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Citizens deserve to know who made this decision. Did this originate in executive chambers, or did it happen with her and you're backing her up? That's what we want to know. And in the Hispanic community, we, we have a voice and Chief allowed that to happen. He opened up a door that a door was closed. I'm asking you to reinstate that door.